Hello and welcome back to LIT, Lisa's Initial Thoughts. And today I want to speak on James 4, verse 8. And I want to read that to you. And it says, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinner, and purify your hearts, ye devil-minded. Now, what is James talking about here? James here is pleading for actually the whole church to come to God. There is trouble in the church. And James is saying that we don't go as individuals at this point. We all come together collectively before God and bring whatever issue it is before the Lord in prayer and fasting. Sometimes we can have a problem in the church and we are afraid to deal with it, confront it. Um, and the minister is quick to say, well, let's fast and pray. And uh, you will hear people say, everyone worry about themselves and let's everyone pray for themselves or just pray for the individual. Where there are times when we have to, as a collective group, come before God. Because that's the only way the situation can be dealt with. And when I say that, you know, I can't help but think about when you have a, a ailment, you know, within yourself. And let's just say everything's doing well, but maybe you have a hurt foot. So you, get, you there's nothing you can do about the foot. You've tried everything. So you go to the doctor. And when you go to the doctor, there's a few things the doctor's going to tell you. He or she is going to tell you, well, I can either give you an antibiotic, we can do surgery, or I need to amputate it. And then, so those are your choices. And that's what happens when, this, when the body, a crisis is sick. You can either give it antibiotic, which is a little bit of prayer and hope it goes away. You can do some surgery, which means that you can have bring them before the minister and bring them before the church and try to deal with the issue. Or you can cut it off by putting, putting them out. You know, and I know that's harsh and that's normally the last thing that people want to do. And in thinking about this uh, over here in James 4, 8, I can't help but think of Joshua. Do you remember when Joshua was in battle and they were losing? And he went to God and he said, Lord, what is going on? Why are we losing this battle? And God says, you got sin in your camp. And Joshua was like, what? And he said, you have sin in your camp. And Joshua said, who? And he said, Achan. So instead of taking out everyone, he had him go to Achan and he had him deal with Achan and just take him completely out, man, woman, child, cattle, everything that was even associated with Achan. He had Joshua removed. And I know you may think that's a little bit extreme, but I'm going somewhere. Now, when you think about the time of Joshua and when he had to deal with Achan, trust me, Achan's sin was not the only sin in the camp. People are sinners. But that was a sin that affected the whole body. He took those vessels that he should not have taken. And in doing that, he brought the whole body down. So there is sin in the church Everybody is a sinner saved by grace. But there are sometimes such egregious sins in the church that you have to deal with that sin in order for the church to advance. So over here in James 4, 8, James is saying, draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. 
And he is saying to cleanse your hands, purify your hearts, you double-minded. And I know some people may think, well, that's that that sounds single. Well, no, if you if you really search the scripture and really search out the verse, he is talking about the church as a whole. Coming before God to deal with sin in the church. So I just wanted to say that ministers have to do better when it comes to known sin in the church and stop having everyone go to do fasting and praying and not really dealing with the issue on hand. Because see, when you tell everyone to go fast and pray, individuals are going to think, well, he ain't talking to me. I'm not the issue. So when we fast and pray or anyone goes to fast and pray, we're going to think, well, I'm going to fast and pray because I, I want to get off sugar. Well, I'm going to fast and pray because I don't, I need to be on time. I need to be better with my schedule. I need to be more patient. And we and, and we use an individual fat, uh, method, of, you know, when we come to fast and praying. We, 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 we make it personal. We make it individual. And we forget about what's going on um, really in the church, in the issue at hand. So when ministers ask um, their members to fast and pray about something that's going on in the church, you've got to target the issue. You cannot do a blanket fast and pray because most people will not pray about the issue. They will go and try to really seek themselves because like I said, everybody is a sinner. And there is sin in the church, but sometimes you have to deal with a specific sin head on. So that's all I wanted to say about that. You have to be careful about when an aching has crept up in your church. You have to deal with it like God would have us deal with it and not be afraid to deal with sin, especially ministers when you have been given a charge to lead your flock. Uh, you you got to do what God has called you to do. And sometimes it's not always easy, but you cannot put a blanket over it and hope it goes away, hope it prays away, not wanting to offend anybody, not, you know, not wanting to have anybody leave the church because some of you so so caught up and hard up for, for people's money and uh, prosperity and, 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 and tides and carrying on out there. That it's just sickening. It's a shame, really. But if you have been called to lead a church, then you've got to lead a church according to the will of God. So if you have sin in your church and you know who the culprits are, then deal with it like God has called you to deal with it. He would give you the strength and he would give you the tools to do so. And that's all I wanted to talk about was when there's an aching in the camp, you've got to deal with the sin head on. Thank you. If you like what I say here on my channel, subscribe to Lisa Powell Music. And if you would like to support me, you can go to uh, Cash App Dollar Sound Lisa Dollar. Excuse me, Dollar Sound. I'm sorry, Dollar Sign Lisa Powell Music. Thank you.